with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good morning and happy Friday to you. We're coming up on 517. We're waking up to pretty quiet conditions, although some clouds have moved in. 78 degrees, it feels like 81 degrees. You see some clouds moving in from the north. Those will eventually dissipate, and we're going to see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies today. Temperatures mid and upper 70s, even New Orleans in the upper 70s, but we're going to warm up into the mid 90s today. Feels like temperatures well into the triple digits for several hours on end. Rain chance only 10 to 20. We have this ridge of high pressure, this heat dome that's in place, and it's expanding to the east. And this is just going to act as a lid on the atmosphere, trap in some of that heat, and it's not going to really uh, go away for several days. We're going to see hot conditions all across the south. Of course, a little hotter to our west with actual temperatures today in the 100s. 104 for a high in Lubbock. Here in Baton Rouge, 95 degrees. But our feels like temperatures, even across the deep south, all across the deep south, will be well into the triple digits for several hours on end. That's why we have heat alerts uh, posted all the way from New Mexico, Texas, all the way into portions of the Florida Panhandle, and then even for South Florida as well. So some serious heat is expected today, not just today, but through the weekend. Mid-90s will not be surprised to see some upper 90s out there, but it's the high dew points that we're going to have that's going to make it dangerous. High humidity, which is going to be a stressor to our bodies with heat indices well into the triple digits, again, for several hours potentially up to 115 for feels like temperature tomorrow, possibly into Sunday and Monday as well with highs in the mid and upper 90s. So again, the heat is not going anywhere. The high humidity is not going anywhere. And we're going to see very little relief from the heat in terms of rain chances. So to beat the heat, of course, drink plenty of water. Even if you're not thirsty, you want to cool off in shaded areas. But keep in mind, those feels like temperatures are what it will feel like even in the shade. You want to avoid caffeinated drinks, also adult beverages as well. Drink plenty of water. And then, of course, you want to stay in the AC. Do not forget about your fur babies. They can get heat stroke as well, especially dogs with pushed in faces, pugs, boxers, such as that. They can get uh, heat stroke just within about 10 minutes. So something to keep in mind. I bumped rain chances up a little bit on Saturday because we may have to watch this disturbance that may push through from the north and northeast. That could bring us some wet weather late tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. Futurecast, I think, is being a little aggressive on this, but we could see some wet weather late in the afternoon through perhaps the early evening. Something we're going to have to monitor. That's if it lasts this far south. So again, dog days of summer here, dangerous heat indices, minimal rain chances. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have our sixth named storm, Tropical Storm Fay. And in fact, we have some live video from Ocean City, Maryland. You see the rough surf. And this is going to impact areas from the mid-Atlantic all the way to the New England area going forward into the weekend. In fact, going to push into areas toward Manhattan later in the day tomorrow, late tonight, and then going to bring some heavy rain. Tropical storm alerts are in effect for these areas. And again, Tropical Storm Fay, a little strong, 50 miles per hour moving to the north at 10 miles per hour. Other than that, the tropics are quiet at the moment. Temperatures all across the board for the next seven days, mid-90s. Rain chances are going to be quite minimal. And then our feels like temperatures all the way through the weekend and into next week will be, again, well into the triple digits. So if you are going to be outdoors at any point, please use extreme caution. Let's get a quick check on the traffic situation this morning.